Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, and switch to the latest iOS. So right now, just go right into your settings. In your settings, I usually tell you to just make that backup using your iCloud, which is up here. So that's going to be your name or your device's name and manually make that backup in iCloud. However, this update's so small, this is going to be the first time I'm not going to recommend doing that because it's so small. So let's just go down to general. Under general, you will see the second option, software update software update you will see this now if you guys haven't updated to ios 13 yet then obviously this update will be much bigger than just 100 megabytes for those of you who are already in ios 13 and are just updating to ios 13.1.1 then this will only be 100 megabytes which is so so small so if you are updating like that this is really small which is going to tap on download it's going to ask you for a passcode if you guys have one and then it's going to install. How long will this take? Well, it's only 100 megabytes, so it really does depend on your internet speed. However, for most of you, even if you have really, really, really slow internet, it's not going to take you more than 20 minutes. For those of you with moderate internet speed, it's going to take you five minutes. With those of you with really fast internet speed, it's still going to take you around from two to five minutes. Anyways, what we're going to see is first our download. So that's going to happen first, and then we're going to see the install option. Some of you might see install already as an option, and that's because your iPhone, iPad, or Touch might have downloaded this update already, and all you have to do is install it. Just make sure down here below you guys will see automatic updates. That's off right now, and make sure that's always turned off just in case. Sometimes there's some updates that you guys may not want to do, sometimes they come with too many glitches now this update is really really small and it's fixing some really important glitches and some others that are not so bad so one of the important ones was fixing having problems restoring from a previous backup you guys did anyways if you guys don't have space to make a backup which i didn't even suggest doing that um in your icloud just plug it into iTunes and that's a program that you guys can install on your computer whether you guys have Mac or PC it's the same thing you guys can use iTunes in order to back up and even update your iPhone iPad or touch so if you guys don't see this update for some strange reason then don't worry about it just hook it up to your computer use iTunes once again and update it through there and also might as well make that backup once it's downloading it's just going to give you this message where it's saying preparing update at this point you guys could just leave your iDevice just do its thing just leave it alone and then come back to it afterwards because what you will see later on is an apple logo a loading bar it's going to restart and you're all done so after it's done fully preparing we're just going to tap on install now we're going to see verifying update and after a bit, we're going to see an Apple logo in a loading bar. This will happen two times. The first time it's going to go a little bit slower. And this would be the second time where you guys will see that the loading bar goes a bit faster. And that would be it. After this, we will see this, which is asking you for your not touch ID, but actually to put in your passcode. Because once your iPhone or iPad up touch, if you guys have a passcode in it, it's always going to ask you for that and not just the touch ID. Once you put that in, that's it. That's it for this update. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.